Ali, some news of your exploits have reached me, and most of them have even been good, my friend. I've returned to our people's land, and in Sonala, I purchased a smithy. It was costly, but it will produce high-quality arms that I fear we will one day need soon. Word has reached me of a bandit, a known womanizer by the name of Khalid. I fear that he is the sole survivor of his family, one distantly related to my own. Fortunately for him, I plan on retrieving him safely. Unfortunately for the men who follow him, they will pay. Outside of the village of Abba, there is word of their hideout. That is where I'm heading to now, and I do plan on engaging in the horse trade very soon. Salam. On my way to find that rogue, I've run into a large party of looters. I cannot permit them to go to Abba. After we defeat them, I will then relocate and we'll go find that rogue. His services will be better in my party than out here, fighting with a bunch of outlaws and brigands. Everyone who does not have a shield and is an infantryman will be in group 5. Every shield user will be in group 1. Now it's time to fight. Here they come. I can couch my lance and fight, sure, but I've got to be careful here. Looters have a lot of stones. If they damage me too much or hit me too often, they will disrupt my lance use. Let's move up a bit more. There they are. I've only got a few archers, but I am working on getting even more. Okay, let's speed up. Let's couch now and try to be careful here. Look at that. They got me. That's what I was talking about. That's why I won't always couch my lance. Sometimes I've got to show people through example on how that goes. All right, let's go in. Just charge in. You've got shields, and we're going to win easily. They're only looters. They're very easy to beat, but they can be very disruptive. But as you just saw, two kills for me. And sometimes you just want to be effective. I could try to wind up and speed up to get a kill with my lance, but in a battle that is happening so quickly and not over time, it's probably better for me to use my sword. I can swing multiple times, whereas I would need to really wind up to get another strike with a lance. Like, over here would have been fine, but there's also a hill involved. I got another one. There's only a few left. Only a few left that we need to kill. Here I go. I'm going to aim it low and also on the right side, too. Let's move back around. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. I got one. 293 damage. Not bad. Let's go back over here. I got another one. Nearly 500 damage. Thankfully, it looks like if I can just kind of get on a roll, I can keep on couching too, which is quite nice. But whenever you're in the middle of an enemy formation, that doesn't bode very well for you. Now, how many more do we need to kill? We've already won the battle. I've lost only two men. How many kills was I able to pick up? Now, that is a good question. Let's have a look. Six kills total. Altair, two kills. Roland, one. Jubal, no kills for that battle. Okay, now let's leave again. I'll take all the prisoners and I'm not going to upgrade everyone later on. But for now, because we're about to go into a hideout, I'll do it. <laughs> He's like, let me put on my fur coat. It makes me more powerful. What about over here? There's an archer, a gilman, and more infantry. Great. Now I'm going to take all of that loot. And we're going to leave. Now it's time for us to move over here to that hideout. It's currently daytime. I'll have to wait either way, which is what we're going to do. I currently have 50,000 dinars, which is a lot of money. I did buy a smithy over in Sonala because I want that town to produce better goods. And I've got plenty of money producing workshops, which means I need to be practical too and have a few that's only going to help me get better loot. Okay. It's time for everyone to move in. No one hold your fire. Everyone advance. Huh. If not advance, then charge in. You know what? Just charge in. That's a lot easier. Now here they come. Oh my god. Look at all the ranged attacks. They're done for already. We've got a lot of throwing weapons here, don't we? Now we only have a few more Bedouins to kill. Then I'll challenge their leader. Then, he will join our party in time. He has no choice. That Joel recruit is incredibly fast, my god. Is he not wearing pants? I don't believe he's wearing pants right now. Okay, fine. <laughs> Joel, good kill. He did it, my friend did it. There's only a few more to kill. 
Oh, they've taken care of it. It's only a bunch of low-leveled brigands and outlaws. Now it's my turn. And there will be a period of time where I spend a lot of time training up my athletics, but for now, I'm fighting largely on horseback. Eventually, on a camel, so on camelback. Well now, it is time for a fight. Let's go. Ooh, good strike. Not good enough, though. Okay. You're not the leader that I was looking for. He must be here. It's good to have a face for your party. Look at that. My skill point in athletics went up to 17 now. Two kills from me. Now we may go. Let's have a look over here. Oh, that is plenty of prisoners too. We'll go back to Abba and get our reward. All right. What about that loot? A lame Azurite horse. I am going to trade with horses quite a bit, I think. I want to try that out. We'll probably go to Vlandia later. No, I'll just take all of it. That's a lot of money for me. Look at that. Even more renown. How much do I have currently? Oh, I'm nearly rank 3. All that I've been doing has really been helping me out, but look at that. I am nearly there. And for my money, I am making a lot. Surprisingly, my Ironmonger is making a decent amount. Well, good. But my Tanner, over 700. I've got a lot. I am a businessman, and I will own many enterprises all throughout the land. No longer will you engage in a life of roguery and villainy. You are going to join my party and redeem yourself in the eyes of our people. Do you understand? Oh yeah, sure, why not? Look, I need some new robes anyway. Those are very nice robes, I can see that. Well, I'm sure you'll get a lot of blood on them. You're gonna need a few pairs. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Anyway, let's get paid, my lord. I'm getting paid. Now that we have a rogue, let's engage in a little bit of trade. Here, do you want the loot of dead men? These men were trying to rob you. Now you can wear what they were wearing. There we go, 880 dinars. I've already bought some horses before. I'm going to buy more. I bought some from Hunab. Now I can buy more from Hatif as well, which is not too far from us. After that, I'll go to Vlandia and we can find out what I'll be able to make. Wait, over 300 looters? My god. Okay. That could be a very interesting battle. Probably way too much for us here. Whoa, only 107 in value? That is very cheap. I'll take all of them. Thank you. Okay, let's go over here. I can only lead so many men right now. Only 80. Let's go over here to Askar. 158 looters. Now that was not a challenge. Maybe 300 will be a sufficient challenge. That is really way too many looters. Okay, they have no tournament here. Let's go see what they have. And I know that I've got to sell a few more things. Or maybe even buy. Oh, only 245. That is very cheap jewelry. No, Khalid, you cannot have it to seduce women with. It's my money I'm spending here, okay? All right, 48 for the salt. That is all right, but I don't want it. The beer is very cheap, surprisingly. I'll buy all of it, all 30 units total. And now I've got to get someone to join me. Let's take over here. Well, first off, I'll get rid of my prisoners and I'll get three watchmen. There we go. Time to rest up for one day. Now it's time to go find a battle and also more horses too. That village was very cheap. I'll go to Wadar and Berry Hall. Then I'll go track down a party to fight. I'm trying to train up my men. I've got way too many for what I'm doing right now, but if I ever want to fight, I'll need many. 107 again. Look at that. That is all very cheap. I'll take it all. There we go. Now to bury all. There should be one more village to the west. I'm beginning to learn the lay of the land, which feels incredible. All right, I've done it. And that one more village would be over here, Balik. There's more to the east, but I don't want to go that far. That's very far away. All right. We're currently in the winter of 1085, and it feels amazing. It's not all chilly and snowy like elsewhere. Now that we have our rogue, Khalid, let's move on now. I need to find some horses to buy. I've already bought some from the east. 
I'm planning on going to Vlandia to see how much they'll buy them for. I have a feeling that our luxuries will be quite desired over there. Wow, 158 looters. Again, that is a lot. I would like to train up my men, so we're probably going to fight a few battles fighting hundreds of looters. Or whoever we're able to find. 158, though. Sure, we can do that. Now, Khalid, where are you? You're right here. Okay. You're very good with a bow. I'm going to put you into group two. As for the rest of you, you get to wait where you're at. But 158, again, is a decent amount. We've got to fight them now. Here we go. Oh, they've got friends too. Just what they needed. A lot of help. All right. All of you. I want you over there. Group one, move up a bit. Actually, come over here. Group two, I want you in a loose formation. And you'll be on top of that hill. Group five, go over there. Horsemen, you'll be over here. And eventually, all of you will charge in. Once I have more horsemen, I'll probably divide up any horse archers. And look at that. Gulams. Oh, they're going to kill so many. But they do have horsemen. That's really bad. That's really bad. Oh, that's really bad for him, I mean. I meant to clarify. All his throwing weapons are quite deadly. It's a great way to counter some enemy cav. Okay, go back over here now. Just all of you move. All right, let's hold on. I'm not moving over here too. I've got to watch out. Advance right now. Charge in. Let's go. Oh, they hit me before I could hit one of them. And horsemen charge in. It's time. I think we can do it. We've got the skill and talent. So we're going through. I've lowered my lance. I want to hit someone. That guy. Yeah, there we go. We're losing a lot just because of their sheer numbers. But now that my horsemen are moving in, maybe we've got a shot. I don't know. I'm going at it. And we're trying to build up a very strong core group of soldiers. That means we're going to take some casualties from time to time. Also, if they didn't lose all their throwing weapons from taking out Cav, then they probably would have been able to kill a few more of their horsemen. Once I have more archers, I'll be able to soften up a group. But whenever you're outnumbered and you're having to fight that many men, my god, that can be quite damaging. My mace is for whenever I'm on foot, but on horseback, I've got to use my sword. The length is much longer. Keep on attacking. Good job, Jabal. Another kill. Oh, I got him too. 137 damage. I'm going to pull out my spear again. I'm not going to couch right now. I don't really need to. And I'm pretty decent at timing my stabs or I'm getting better at it. I played one entire campaign without using a horse, so it <laughs> takes me a minute to really adjust. All right, let's go back. Got to aim it low. And there we go. 501 damage. That man has been pierced. Not by my charm, though. Oh, well. I'll save it for the lords. That's a lot of dead bodies. Wow. And we have one. 11 are dead. 29 are wounded. Jubal got four kills. Altair, he was able to get three. And let's see. Roland, no kills at all. Khalid was able to get two kills. Very nice. Okay. Let's leave that battlefield. Oh, that is a lot of... Freaking peasants. Now, do I even want them? I don't believe I do. I mean, I could take up a few and see what they're all about, but I don't think they're going to help me out too much. I'll take like one. Okay, that's by far too many prisoners, so let's kind of downgrade that a bit. Yeah, to 29. And we are good. Okay, that is a lot of loot. I'll take it all. I need it all if I want to make more money. And I wonder, who am I going to upgrade? I'll upgrade one of you. Two master archers. Very good. A few more gulams. And even more archers again. I'm trying to get a lot intentionally. I'll hire more mercenaries too. They're very, very powerful. Okay. There is another camel rider. He should be quite effective. Got a peasant over here. Only one. We can see where he goes. Level 26, I mean, they're very powerful. All right. You guys are pretty good at what you do. What about you? Eh. They should be fine. 
Now that I have so many who are hurt, I should probably travel around and heal up. Like over here. I could buy some more food too and sell a few wares and even rest up safely. Yeah, take all of that. Let's wait up just for a little while. There's over 300 looters over there. I'm not ready to beat that party. Maybe when I have like 100. Ali Car is under attack. He's gaining a lot of skills too, especially in medicine. So far, they have not captured him. All right, my tier went up to three. I mean, that was a big battle. And I'm getting a lot of renown. So now, I'm able to lead even more men. We'll go to Askar. Then, here's what we'll do. We'll go over to Berry Hall and other locations where they are selling horses. Oh, he's near Abba, really? Okay, he's not too far from where we're at right now. I'll hire these two Mamluks. And let's also go to the tavern and see what they have. I'll ransom off every prisoner I have. There we go. School to recruits. I do not want them, no. Instead, we'll go to a different location after I get some more horses. That's what I need right now. Ooh, only 107 dinars. I'll take that. Let's head over here to Berry Hall. And maybe to another village afterwards. Seven more. All mine. We have one more village to visit. Right over here. Balik. Now I wonder when I'll begin to see better equipment appearing in Sanala. I would like to buy some better equipment. I mean clearly we all need to be well equipped. And I've got many companions who need to be well equipped. Alright. What do you have over here? Oh, those cost way too much. No way. We're not doing that. Okay, you want your daughter found. No, I'm not doing that either. I've done a job like that before, and that is a lot of drama that I do not want to be involved in. Maybe later. Okay, what do you have over here? Silver ore. Okay. Let's see. How much are you selling it for? That I want to know. 110 is not too bad. I'll take it. Yeah, I could sell that for quite a bit of coin up north, I'm sure. Next, we'll head back on over to Sanala, which is essentially my home. It's where I've spent a lot of time. I travel a lot, but it's where I spend a lot of time. Ali Cardinal has more leadership. Good. Oath Keepers. Again, not what I really want. Let's have a look over here. All right, so if I upgrade, what are you going to give me? Oh, that would be great, actually. 30 armor total. And I'll take that, too. I'll pay 32000 but I do want better equipment. And I can always give what I was wearing to other companions, you see. I'm not going to upgrade all of them right away. That wouldn't go very well. Yeah, you know what? You need better armor, and here's a better helmet for you. Much, much better. All right, you can wear that. And here's a much better horse that should keep him conscious. Now, Khalid... I'm going to give you better equipment, too. Maybe not that. Not a great mixture, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to wait until I get some real armor for him. He's not really into horseback riding, so we'll keep him on foot. Jubal, here's a better mount for you. And you, too, Altair. Oh, that should make a dramatic change in every battle. All right. So now, for what we have left, I'm going to sell it all. I've made quite a decent amount of money. And do you have any cheap goods? Not really a lot. No, you do have silver ore, a lot of it. I'll buy that too. Okay, now when it comes to weapons, let's have a look at what I might be able to buy, though I am spending a lot as it is right now. A better blade, you say? A narrow sword? Let's have a look at that real quick. No, I like mine more, much more actually. What about your wide leaf spear? I wouldn't be able to couch it, so no, I'll keep what I have then. All right, and here is a much better harness at 16 armor. I'll take that, because someone else will be able to take a different one. Like you. There we go. Now, I could give you that blade. It's better than what you have. You know what? I'll do it. Now he's much better off. I don't usually spend that much money, but I did today, because I know that we need better equipment. Oh, man, that was a lot. I'm not going to buy more men just yet. We'll wait to do that. I'm able 
to move fairly quickly. The Empire and the Azurai are no longer fighting either. Well, that's good. Let's head over here. I gained 1,400. Well, that is an okay amount. I was hoping for more, but I'm not going to complain about making some profit. Okay. I'll take one of you, a tribesman, a few more. Yeah, I do want a decently sized party. Ooh, more Jawas. I'll take them all. Very good. All right, so we need to go do some trading. I'm going to sell some horses. I want to sell each unit for over 200 dinars. Thought maybe someone could be upgraded. No? All right. We can wait then. Oh, there's a battle happening. Do they need my help? It's too late now. Those poor people. All right. They actually produce mounts here too, but not my type of mount. So now we'll head over to, let's see, Sargat. That's where we're going to go. And if we find a good party to fight, like maybe 150, 160, then I'll engage. And if there's a good quest too, maybe I'll do that as well. But for now, we're going to go from town to town, selling our wares and trying to make more money. All right, let's have a look over here. How much are you going to pay for them? I'm looking at it, and 331 is a lot of money. So I'm going to sell about that many. Look at that. Over 2,000, and my trade skill is going up too. All right, so we'll go to Joculon as well, and I'll probably do one tournament. I like to do those. I'll probably do more tournaments in different locations. That way, the format is different. It'll change up what the battle is like. All right, so now we're over here. Let's have a look again. All right, so we've got quite a few, 379. I could probably make more elsewhere, but I feel like that is really not too bad at all. I'm now at 40,000. I paid a little over 100 for each unit for most of them. Then I'm selling them for over 300. The King of Flandia just passed by. Well, he's not very busy fighting then. All right, back over here. I haven't really been checking on other things. Ooh, a lame horse. Well, I might be able to use it for an upgrade, so I'm not going to worry about that at all. Instead, we'll go up north over to Provind, where I'm sure they have a lot of money. They often do, and I'll probably check on a few mercenaries, and I should probably look at where I can sell my silver, and we'll just sell a few more mounts over there. Okay, the empires are fighting. North and south. That's going to be a bloody, bloody feud for sure. All right, so now we're back over here. Let's have a look at our ore. So Ostakin or Rotai is where I want to go. Very well. I'll sell a few of these over here. Perfect. So Ostakin or Rotai. Very well. Yeah, that is a really good way to get your trade skill up. Let's have a look real quick. Ostakin, where are you? Show me the ways, man. I need to know. Oh, it's right over here. <laughs> I didn't even bother looking. 292 looters. Maybe if I had 100 men, I want at least 20 archers. 20 archers would at least kill some of them. That's what I'm going to work towards, getting 20 archers. Now there's Revolt. We'll stop by Revolt real quick. You're not going to watch me travel each and every time. But for now, I just want you to see kind of like my trading pathway in case you ever want to engage in some trade too. All right, there's not too much here that I want. Rotai, I might be going to Rotai, so sure, I'll buy that. And now we're going to Ostakin, which is really out of the way. It's why I don't really come out here too often, but maybe that is a good thing for trade prices. They do have a tournament going on. I should probably fight there. That would be good money. Okay, now we're back over here again. Okay, take them all, take that saddle, and I've got some ore. I'll sell about that much. I'll get 3,000 dinars. That's really good money. Now, you do have a lot of oil for relatively cheap. I can go to Varchek and sell a lot of it, so take that. I've got to trade out some goods. My trade skill is now at 105, so you can see how quickly you're able to really level it up. And... It's time for a battle, I think. I might even lose it. Who knows? 
Okay, they've got some armor. Actually, before we go in, let's have a look over here real quick. What do you guys have? Not for me, for Roland. I could always give that armor to other people, but I just want to know what you have. That's all way too much. Oh, that wouldn't be bad for him. Only 13,000. Okay. What about good shoulder armor? Could probably use a bit of shoulder armor as well. You don't really have too much here, no. So we'll have to wait on that. Very well. Okay, there goes a bit more money. Khalid, here you go, my friend. See, I wanted him to have the armor, so I wanted him to find some good stuff to use. Now, what about me? Rusty Mel Mittens? Eh. Now, that is 15 armor. Ah, hold on. Here we go. You can use that. There you go, Altair. Now, I wonder... No, you can't wear that while in your civilian clothing. I thought I gave you a... Oh, no, no. That would be right for your civilian stuff. Well, you don't really need that, but keep it. Sure, why not? Now it's my turn to fight. I've made my wager the wrong time. Well, whoever styled your hair clearly wronged you. All right, Lucan. We're fighting now. Oh, I'm fighting one of my own. Very well. I mean, it's easy to point us out. We do not look like Vlandians. All right, let's watch out. These shields are pretty weird feeling to me. I'm just not accustomed to them. All right, so the battle's nearly over. I'm not doing a lot of damage. But I got that Vanguard. Sorry, Altair. I might have to get him a shield, but he's got some perks that are meant to benefit not using a shield. I shall see in time. All right, we're fighting on horseback. Very well. Can I couch? Yeah, I can. Cool. Darn. That wasn't really what I wanted to do. <laughs> all right. Shield up. I want to move back around. And I can also let all of them fight, too. That doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Let them fight. I don't want to be there the whole time fighting. I got one. 460 damage. Let's go back around. See, that's why I think in order to keep tournaments entertaining, I should probably fight in different ones around the map because the composition changes up quite a bit. So that could be the way in. It's still doing tournaments, but also being entertained, you see. Suleiman is ready to make some money, though. I don't usually spend so much so early on, but I really do want to equip all of my companions. I want them to have money, and I want them to have powerful gear, too. All right, let's see. Is he going to be able to get me? Ooh, I got his horse. That's going to weaken him. All right, now they all have spears, I believe, so that does worry me. I got him. Okay, turning back around. I want those two to fight now. Nope, not me. You don't want to fight me right now. Don't do it. Turning around. Whoa, that was a close one, huh? That was a very close one. I'm going all the way around if I can. Oh, they're still following me. What are you guys doing? You can fight each other. They're like, nope, we want you, foreigner. Roland, you're on my side. And Azurite Archer, you're on my side. They've gone native. Okay, I got Roland. There's only one more to fight now. Come on. Oh. Nice way to get trapped over there, friendo. Hold on, hold on. We're moving around. It's kind of a close fight, so I don't want to play it too dangerously. So I don't want to, like, couch and get knocked out. But you know what? Forget it. I've got to play a dangerous game. Can't live in this world without playing one. He's knocked out, too. These archers are scary, huh? All right, let's see. Got him. Ooh, right in the head, too. I got him. Victory. Here's another bet. I'm fighting Roland. Oh, these two again. Okay, well, very well. I left the Roy. Please don't lose that battle. He's all alone, so he might lose that battle. Shoot, I better hurry up. All right, let's see. I'm going to circle around if I can. They got him on his horse. That's unfortunate. Nope, didn't couch in time. That's okay, too. Okay, I got your mount once. And I got you that time. Okay, he's been dismounted. Hopefully, that's going to stop him. And I got Roland again. Roland, nothing personal, but, you know, you're not a great Vlandian. You can't beat me in a mounted battle with a couch lance or whatever, or with a lance. Oh, but you could. If you weren't fighting me. All right, then. We've won that battle, too. So, let's wager some more money. 
and I've got to fight my former partner here, my partner in crime. Very large, barrel-chested man. Whoa, 31 damage. Don't hit me like that. Don't do it again. He's doing it again. I got him. Oh, in one hit. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I do like my new armor. That, I believe, kept me up. Okay, that gave me some money. And, of course, more renown as well. A very good thing, you see. All right, so now that I've done that, we're going to Varcheg. It's time to relocate. I've got plenty of money, but I need so much more. Especially for my goals, and especially because I'm trying to equip all of my many companions. But if I do so, and they become more powerful, I will also grow in power. So what benefits them will benefit me. What benefits me will benefit them as well. We're a great team, all of us here. So, Pendraik. You've got hogs. I wonder if they're cheap hogs. I don't usually buy those, but... I feel like 41 is cheap for hogs. I'm going to buy that real quick. I'm learning a little bit about prices. <laughs> no, it's just really engaging in the manual labor of buying those. All right, so we're going to Varcheg and other locations. I suppose bringing hogs back home would be quite lucrative. I don't know if that's true or not, but we can certainly find out. Let's go over here to Varcheg now. And see what we can make from what wares I do have. Alright. That oil can make me a little bit. That'll work out. Or no. The hogs, no way at all. They're also very cheap over here. Alright. Let's see. What do you have that could make me a lot of money? Hides? No. Furs? Sure, actually. Let's try that ore again. Poros. Okay. We can go to Poros. I know how to do that. So, I'm going to track it, and that's where we're going. And that's where we're going right now. It's a long journey, but I'm up for it. I stopped by Amatantis, and actually, they're paying quite a bit for silver ore. So, I'm going to sell a bit of it over here, too. Look at that. That was a lot. In fact, I'll sell all of it. The hogs are selling for more here, and furs as well. The linen, too. Yeah, sure. Take about that much. The oil, no. And I wonder, what can I buy here? At least now I'm beginning to really learn what I could buy locally and sell elsewhere. Olives? No, I'm okay. Wow, two trade skill points. All right, 107. I'm getting up there now. What am I going to get once I level up to, let's see, that skill. Hold on, let's go right over here. Artisan community? Okay. Every shop you own gives you one renown per day, if it is profitable. And over here, great investor. That's for every caravan. I'll probably do shops over caravans. During a war, caravans can be much more risky. So let's go over here to Poros and see what we can sell. If not, I'll stop by like Bostrom and we'll go back home. I'll buy more mounts later on. Again, I'm not going to do all the trading on screen because, I mean, I'll be doing that quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, quite a bit. Now, one more perk point. I do want more writing skill, too. So I'll put one over there. All right. I don't want any of your mercenaries. No, I do not. They're not cheap, and nor do I need them right now. Okay, so sheep are evidently fairly cheap here. The hogs do sell for a decent amount. Not a lot, but a decent amount. The linen sell for a decent amount, too. Okay, and the oil. Take all of that. That'll do it, man. All right, so I want to sell a few more hogs, I think. And I also want to engage in another fight, but I need to find a suitably large party size. If it's not large enough, we're not going to do it. But it's one of the best ways I can think of to really just get my soldiers to a very veteran status. There's Vostrom. Now, Vostrom also has a tournament going on, but again, as I told all of you, I'm not going to have all of you just watch me play tournaments every single time. Okay. Let's have a look over here again to Jawal Recruits. I do want them to join me, sure. They're very good, and I want more of them. 132. No, that's not too bad. That's only a little bit of coin, but look at that. My trade skill went up again. 
And I'm sure even villages could buy my wares. But I'm not going to try to stop by every village too. Oh my god, could you imagine if I did that? We would never get anything done. So I think that part is a decent one to fight. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just trying to raise up my overall clan renown before we make a big choice. Oh, we're fighting me and you. Oh, now that should be interesting. That's going to be very challenging. Fortunately, the power level isn't so bad for me. We've got 13 ranged units. Okay. Oh, we've not fought here before. Not as Suleiman. Okay, they're over there. I've only got so many men. They do have a bridge. Okay. Well, I want all of my men over here. I want all of you to go into group one. You're far too outnumbered to be divided. That much I do know. Okay. Lose formation. Horsemen, I'm going to have all of you just move far, far away. You'll come in later. Don't worry about it right now. But here they come. Oh, my God. That is really so many. Let's see what we can do, though. Infantry, please move up. I wish they could make it here in time, but... Let's just move up about there. I mean, they can just, like, climb up. So it's not, like, a big deal. But look at how many kills they're getting already. My God. That is amazing. All right, men. Go in. I have a feeling they're going to gain a lot of kills. I think they will gain a lot of kills. Horsemen, charge in. I'm going to pull out my mace and start clubbing. It's clubbing time. Oh, that's a lot of them. Okay, let's watch out. Got that guy. There's a lot, but I can swing. I know how to swing, you know. Okay, I nearly got him. Outnumbered, but, you know... It doesn't really matter. My men are better. My men are much, much better. Oh, I thought they were trying to just like race for me and take me out before it was all over. But no, they were not. Wow, they did it. My God, there's only so many left for us to fight too. Hey, come over here and fight me. Come on. I'm only right here. I'm all alone and outnumbered. I'm sure there's no way that I could win. Just kidding. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Oh. That was brutal. All right, that's one looter gone. Got a few men down here fighting in the ravine with me. Let's just keep on fighting. I'm not going to be able to stop. I just got to try to take out as many as I can, even when I'm outnumbered. Because I'm not very fast, so when I choose where to fight, I've got to kind of like stick to it, you know. All right, my gulams are getting some kills, though they do slow down down here, which is very dangerous. And those rocks make it very hard for them to maintain their charges and everything else. Ooh, that throwing weapon. Love it. Watching all of them fight is truly one of my favorite things. They are so good at what they do. Another decent hit. Okay. I'm nearly knocked out now. Oh, he nearly got me. Nothing but bodies here. I've lost how many then? 13 dead. 33 wounded. We've won the battle too. In the water and on the hills, on the bridge, wherever. We fought them hard and long. Wow. My poor camels. My camels. You animals. Okay. Let's see here. I got six kills total. Jubal, one kill. Roland, two. Altair, three kills. Now that is pretty good. Oh. There are many who can join me. Well, how about that? Okay, promote all of them first. Yeah, they caught me. They got me right as I was passing by. I need more war mounts if I want to promote some soldiers. There we go. More camel riders. And it's finally time to pick up some more soldiers. Archers, whoever. Mamluks, especially. Yeah, give me that. Whatever you have. As long as they are Azurai or mercenaries. I'll take mercenaries, you know. All right, perfect. Perfect. Then I'll take all of your loot. Do we have any upgrades before I take it, though? Jubal, you know what? You've got to wear it because I don't need you getting knocked out so often, you know? So if you've got to wear it, you've got to wear it. Let's take all the loot. That is a lot of loot, too. Now we can go to Danustica. Wow. <sighs> that fight made me fairly nervous, but we did do it. I mean, the quality of what we have naturally is much, much higher. Two mercenary guards. Yeah, I'll hire some mercenary guards. Sure. Okay. 
they obviously have a lot of loot here. Oh, okay. Look at that. 66 blunt damage. It's a tier 5 weapon. Much better than what I have. So I'm going to take that, I think, for sure. And I'll sell off what's over here. And all that armor. Not only that, I've got some hogs. Can't sell too many here without them just not really selling for a lot. So we'll be careful with all of that. Okay, I've got oil that will sell for a lot too. And some meat. Got plenty of grains. All right. I'm not having to pay too much. I just bought a helmet. What helmet could you have? It's got to be one from the Azerai, though. I don't like to buy too many helmets from other cultures or gear or whatever. All right. I'm going to keep on trying to buy more equipment for my soldiers. Let's see, Jubal. What do you really need right now? You need a lot of stuff. I'll have to carefully look at what I can afford to buy him. And again, it's not going to be of Imperial make. So we'll wait until we go back home, I think. But take that. And we are better for it, my god. We have gained so much power and so much wealth. There's another large party. I wouldn't be able to beat them right now. That would not work out. I wish it could, but... Uh. Okay, I just gained a lot more money. Whoa, 1,200. Ali Car, my friend. What do you need? Overpriced raw materials, huh? Let's have a chat. Sure. I haven't really tried that out. I've got some charm. Maybe I can do something. How old are you? You shouldn't be working this job, child. A working man. Um, I don't know. Let's see here. Four units, huh? Of cow. I bet I need to run into someone and have a little chat. Let's see. Some cow. I'm going to find some cow to get them. I need to find a village that's fairly close by. Yep, there we go. We can go to Samira over there. Or do we have a closer location? Let's have a brief glance at the map and see if Suleiman can go to a closer location. Ah. Let's see. Samira's over here. That's over here. Ah, yeah. I guess we'll head over here. Either way, it's all not that far, I think. Now, what about my character? Ah, here we go. Increases your damage with axes and maces by 5%. More security for my settlements. Strong arms over here. More swing speed. Now, I do like the idea of having more swing speed. We'll take that. Cool. Very nice. Yeah, my one-handed skill is going up. I'm going to focus on that. I'll probably focus on only a few skills at a time. I do want to try some archery. I did do a lot of archery before. Maybe not horse archery. Yeah, I could do that, actually, if I wanted to fight like a large party of looters. I'll probably wait until I get more horse archers if I end up getting a lot, but I'm not playing like a Crusades. I'll have some, but let's see now. That's where we need to go. Right over here. Oh, 4,100. He just made me over 2,100. My friend. Oh no, that village was burned down. What a shame. I feel like you should be able to visit the village, not to like buy things, but just to see the carnage. I think that would be fairly interesting, but let's go find a different location. I'm going to see what I can buy here locally. And I do want to go check out Sanala later. All right, now what do you have? Two cows. They do cost a lot, way too much. It's a lot of ore. You don't really want beer, do you? Not really, no. The sheep are not... Well, actually, I don't know how much sheep really go for. <laughs> so I can't really make that call. I'm just looking through it real fast. All right. We are fine. Let's go again. That's a lot of money per day. I can afford so much. We'll stop by Amprella. 235 looters. Those fights are actually a lot of fun. They're just really great, great training for me. Because, I mean, I also need to get better at fighting because I've made a character who isn't really that great at fighting. So I will let you keep that all in mind. That I'm not meant to be that great at fighting, especially not in the very beginning. I've played two very combat heavy characters, so now I'm playing one who's not, and I do like to stick to my roles, you know. All right, we've got to go over here now. Actually, Pawns and Epinosa will work out. By the time I get back home, I'm going to have thousands of more dinars. There we go. 11 cows. Wow. You know what? I'm going to buy their cows. 
Cows are usually fairly pricey, so if I could bring those back home, I could make some nice money and raise up my trade skill. 169, not great, but hey, I'll take it. Now let's go back home. I bought those cows and I came over to another town. Look at that, 1900 for only six cows. Now that isn't bad. I'm at 110. I know of a good way for me to make a lot of money. That was over here at one Imperial town, not even back at home. Yeah, there's a lot of ways you can make money. There are just so many different ways, so many different things you can buy and different times to make that money or even lose money. Ooh, the Empress is over here at Onira. Yeah, we'll try it out over here too. And we've got to make a choice. Are we going to become a mercenary or are we going to maintain what we're doing right now? Are we going to keep on making money and doing what we can and raise up our trade skill to be as high as we're able to make it? So we do have many options and really in time we are going to have to pick sides. Now Suleiman is not the type who's going to fight as a mercenary for other factions. He'll fight for his people and if they pay him, great. And he does need a family. I do agree. He does need one. What's over here? One sprout? Ah, the name alone. <laughs> it's pretty goofy. All right. I only needed four cows. These hogs. Oh, look at that money. Perfect. 1,000. Now that was pretty good. Okay. Four units of cow. Nathan. Let's see. Let's go have a chat now. Right over here in our other town. And after that, we can probably go back to Sanala. I'm going to look for more mercenaries to come join me too. It's been a very busy part. I mean, we've made so much money. We've done so much. And let's see. Who's going to interrupt me? Not you? Anyway, here you go. I didn't get into trouble. Well... He's pretty mad at me. <laughs> That's okay. My charm skill went up and I gained a lot of money for it. I mean, I could nearly sell this cows for more. Nearly, not quite. Now, I wonder, do you want my hogs here? Uh, not for that much. I was hoping for more. 95,000. Oh my God. And I also wanted you to see me equip our mini companions. It's going very well. No, I want to make sure that I'm able to do what I want to do over here. Let's see. How's that blade? Mine is still much better. Yeah, I'm going to keep mine then. The armor isn't really that much better here. Yeah. Just reset all of that. You're not getting my hogs. I'm keeping the hogs. And we're going to go do some stuff. Let's go over to Razi and a few other towns. And see what we can make. But it's time to go back home to Sanala. I've done a lot. Now we need to rest. My friends, we need to rest here for a time. I am now a man who is known for his wealth, his generosity, and the nobility of his men. In time, we shall grow in power even further. We must decide. What will our future be like? Shall we be mercenaries, vassals for our people? And I would like to get married in time. I shall see all of you very soon. Salam.